And we are officially rolling on a very special episode of Bustin' with the Boys. What a wild opportunity for two weird fan bases <laughs> to come together and become that one. Genius. I know. Oh, we better so, turn that down. That's We're all right. Set design on set. Set design. Uh, Mia? We have to... Camila. Cam Camila. Camila, excuse me. Camila <laughs> is ripping up, doing the lights and stuff like that. So let's just break down how this whole thing came to pass. Yeah. You, when you decide you were going to come on this podcast, you are yep. extremely extremely helpful a lot of times it's taken hey, you do this you get radio silence for a little bit you have been very communicative direct, yeah yeah from the get-go which yes. i truly appreciate so about communication is key communication is absolutely key let's say a week ago let's call it 10 days ago okay there is this rumor this uh rumbling going around around in the nfl community <clears throat> that some gentleman is with jeffrey star on his way to wyoming right you take a photo i believe the first photo was this man's ankles with his with his van his ankles aren't that strong but he runs fast okay yeah well that checks off my box i am <laughs> that is one now he's the, a fast runner yeah so <laughs> so during this like i now the only reason why i find this out is people are tagging us Tara lawan in wyoming right now so sorry no i loved it <laughs> this is this this got us to this point now here, which i think yeah. is incredible we're in arizona and i was already coming to the super bowl i've been before okay. i love it it's fun there's always fun parties a mm -hmm. lot a lot of excitement no doubt so this is a great opportunity yeah this is a, this is a great opportunity yeah. so everyone thought that i was sleeping with you but i'm really fucking one of your friends okay that's the short version that's the short version <laughs> you posted another photo of this yeah. gentleman wearing was it gucci it was something designer with his back to it oh, had a similar his, haircut his to me like construction yes. outfit. it was like this big denim right yeah and so wyoming thing and the color of the outfit does not match the team i think people were wondering that that was a question yeah. too because there's a gentleman that plays for the cleveland browns and who's that his name is wyatt teller oh, okay and that was a name that was thrown around sorry Wyatt, i don't know you but it seems like you're out of sorry, the woods wyatt. On me. i'm busy right now i'm booked this weekend call but, her uh, call him hit me up next week no doubt about it yeah so people are starting to remember they're starting to say things i tweet out because this is a fun thing for me am i in wyoming yeah and you have humor and you're actually can have fun with yeah life. it's it's all about a comfortability <laughs> especially when you don't know what you are yeah i'm kind of just figuring that out life out for myself now i'm married with two kids but i, I will switch up in a second if yeah, i have I to yeah if life if life <laughs> gives you lemons that's you right. fuck those lemons right that's what you do so you how did you see that tweet because you obviously don't follow me you follow one person on twitter yeah i unfollowed everyone a few years ago for a mental cleanse because people were just getting too weird yeah you, know, the, the, you then you unfollow someone and you still like them in real life but you hate their content and they get they take it personal that happened with aj brown he's a receiver for the philadelphia eagles now but he was in the titans he unfollowed me I asked him why he goes because you play too much wow i took that on i took no that humor. i kept moving forward that's getting blocked He's, yeah, he's wow. about to win a Super Bowl, probably. Yeah, so you're verified, so I saw your tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's it? Yeah, that was it. That was it. I wasn't searching for it. <laughs> and you, so I didn't know if people were tagging you or whatever. No, so you, was, Yeah, then there was a lot of replies, and then your name was popping up, and I was like, who is this? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Hot. Thanks. Yeah. I, I needed that more yeah. than ever. It's been a rough week for me. Yeah. So you say you, do, you need an invite, and the, the game is officially being played, right? We're officially yeah. playing this multiplayer game on social media. White. And thank you. A lot of the times, yeah, she is a rocket. Yeah, I do appreciate. And she doesn't. A lot of your acquaintances or other fellow teammates, mm -hmm. their wives are busted. It looks like they just settled, and once the check hit, they didn't know what to do. Oh no! Giving, they're stuck. Is there anything that come? Anybody that comes to mind specifically? Oh God! What was the, the wife that got really mad? That's there definitely was, yeah. one of them. Yeah. Do you think she's ugly? Or I don't Henry. actually don't know. Do uh, or Henry? Hey, was Henry. It Henry? Yeah. So people thought it was Henry. Yeah. And she got mad. Yeah. There must be a lot of questions in that relationship, possibly. Definitely a lot of personal issues. Because why? Well, see, the thing is, is she wrote me before like paragraphs, and there was like, I'm gonna use legal action if you don't. Da, 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 how all do you do things. that? You can't. She's just. I don't know. She made it up. Yeah. So I was gonna screenshot it and post that and be funny, and I was like, you know what? It's a new year. I'm just gonna be quiet. It's mm -hmm. all good. So I actually swiped, deleted the DM. Ten minutes later, the bitch is back. Because you can tell when someone deletes it because it vanishes. Oh, really? So she was back with a little short blurb, and I was like, oh, no, she's trying me. And so oh. you you went out to the masses to let them know. Yeah, I just felt it was so annoying and insecure. And and I, I never even heard of him before. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably oh. so mad the next morning, like, you dumb bitch. Well, I actually know my agent... Mm -hmm. my agent was uh i was on the phone with him because once you and i started talking there was a possibility you're coming on the show it's a big deal 
and I was talking to him. He says, I have another player who was in a similar boat. People were tagging him. And he calls him at 1 a.m. Fucking oh. pissed. Why? Like, why the fuck is this dude doing this? I'm not like that. Blah, blah, blah. All this shit. And then the next day, he sends him my tweets. Yeah. Of like, listen, just play into it. Have fun and get over it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, there's a level of like, listen, like people take themselves a little too seriously. They do. That's, yeah, and, that's yeah, what, yeah. and that's what happens. So it's... If anything, this is going to be really good for the NFL and for us. It is. Yes. Yeah. You, we're mending bridges. Maybe I'll have my own seat at the... Possibly. One of the, one of the arenas. Football is one of the more homophobic sports. See, that's what I heard, but I've been to so many games and I've hung out with a lot of people and I've never had that experience. It's more in the locker room. Uh, yeah, because you do. You try lot. to do a couple things. <laughs> you try to do a couple things to mess with dudes. But, hey, I ain't about that oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, they get frustrated. I but, know, because they... Yeah, that's... <laughs> It's, it's, that's some psychological shit. Yeah. It's on them, yeah. That's actually... You can joke and laugh and normal, you're just a normal person. So if you get yeah. really weird or insecure or you take offense, there's some deep-rooted things that they haven't dealt with. Yeah, you, so you think those individuals are fighting their sexuality. Oh, my God, demonic. That's got to be a tough life to live, to not live your true <laughs> They're self. They're just fighting to suck a dick and they won't do it. It's like, try it, move on. Yeah. Gotta try everything twice in life. Exactly. That's what you gotta do. But what's crazy is these these random women have started DMing me. I went to college with what's her name? Henry's wife. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her name. That's okay. Her name's awful. It's probably fair not to put it out there for her too, yeah, out of respect yeah, for her. Yeah, yeah, we don't want her to get more mad. Yeah. I'm trying to put a hit on me. Hit Maybe. On me. I feel like you've got way more connections than she does, though. Even though I don't know Henry's wife. Can we pull that? Can we find out who it is? Thank I you. Her name, but oh, I'm not concerned. Wyoming has a lot of land. A lot of land. <laughs> You've watched Yellowstone, right? I've seen Yellowstone. Yes. Yeah. So when they when they go to get rid of someone, where do they go? They go to that border, right? Is it that Wyoming? It's real. Yeah, it's actually real. It's a piece of land where this is. An You're awful putting a lot segment. of implications out there this already. Is an awful segue. We're not talking about this. Yeah. No. Well, Wyoming has a piece of land that has nothing to do with anyone. Yeah. Wife. Yeah. yeah. And you can get but rid. You of would if a situation came up where she pushed the line that much, she'd she find wants, herself in that piece of land. I don't think she's gonna call the hit, man. But I definitely think she wants to Carol Baskin me. Like she wants to get rid of me. Yeah. That's fair. Has anyone I, talked to Henry? Should we call him right now live? I don't have Henry's number. Her his wife's name is Saren. And it's Henry who? Henry Anderson. How do I know that name? Is he a defensive lineman? Played for the Colts? Played for the Panthers? White dude, right? He's got to be a white dude. Hello, that's why we're here. Yeah, that is why we're here. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. That was stupid. This is why this is a terrible mm -hmm. show, and you're only, you're only making it better. Sure all the black guys that sleep with are, NF, like, are NBA or rappers. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. also another homophobic community. Yeah. So how do you wiggle, like, wiggle rapper, yourself into no, that? The rapper culture, they try to be all tough, but they're all down for anything. All of them? Yeah, no, I don't want to say all. That, see, that's where I'm going to put you a little there hole are, there. There's a small group of dudes that just love pussy. And I love pussy, too. I just prefer men. So, but the <laughs> Men pussy? Yeah, no, all of it. All of it? Yeah, I love threesomes, foursomes, orgies. Yeah, because when we were talking the other day, you said I got to get back to this gangbang. I was on a Zoom with yeah. my uh, employees, so it was a mental gangbang. It was a mental yeah. gangbang. No, but I'm into anyone. If whoever's mm. attractive, I'm into you. Yeah. So when we go to this Wyoming trip, what made you want to Post tweet about photo? that and, and do all that? Is it for the fun of the game, for the love of the game or the bird? Yeah, it's fun to cause a stir, and he was down because he doesn't have any tattoos, and I did this game before a few mm. years ago, and... Their, the person was discovered the next day yeah, because of their tattoos, but it was just to be funny. So, I don't know. I just wanted to start off 23, letting everyone know we're here. <laughs> we're here and we're about it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so no one has figured it out, which is great. Yeah. So and he doesn't care if anyone at the end of the day maybe found out later, but right now doesn't want to be on the news. So he's not openly out there. No. So we can take Carl Nazib off the list. He loves vagina. Really? Yeah. He just likes to try on a, a different thing once in a while. Yeah. He, yeah. It gets boring. How long were you guys in Wyoming for? Oh, God. We got snowed in. I felt bad. Because, yeah, well, obviously, season's over. Yeah. And I'm the new season. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we definitely got snowed in. But, you know, we have a team there and ranch hands and assistants. And we got, we had, we had a lot of fun. And is that like your residence is actually Wyoming? Yeah. I sold my house last year, finally. Is there a reason for that? You just wanted to... I have born a raised here. I'm from Huntington Beach. Really? So I, I'm tired of California. I'm bored of it. You're over uh, it. Yeah. Dude, I'm a, 
I'm stoked to have you on because I know nothing about you. So okay. I want to learn. <laughs> I, I want to learn everything, like everything I possibly can. So in life, we're all playing characters. Yes. Right now, the character of Jeffrey Star is a provocative, controversial one. How did it's birth? How did you become that? So you grew up in Huntington, Huntington Beach. Yeah, I've always just been fearless. So while everyone else was like sun tanning and being surfers, I had like a 10 inch mohawk and I was very punk rock and I was yeah. going to all the shows. Like 182 fan. Oh, I love them. Yeah. My favorite band of all yeah. time. So I grew up with like listening to Hatebreed and mm -hmm. Slayer and things like that. So, which is, a, which is a much different than the figure we're looking at right now. It is, yeah. So but when I went to all the shows looking like this, people respected me and I felt at home in the music scene. Mm hmm. Yeah. And so as you get older, what, how did this all come about? When you're, we're wearing dresses, Internet. we got the we got the hair, yeah. we have, we, we do cosmetics. Is that the correct thing to say? Cosmetics? Yes, sir. And you have a, a Amer uh, cosmetics company in America. Oh, brother, you're Crazy. crushing, you're crushing the game right now. Makeup's my favorite thing. But I did music for a long time. So I've, had, I've been on the internet for 20 years since yeah. I was 16. That's a long time. Yes. Yeah, so, so you found the well, internet as an my, outlet for all you. All my successes, heartaches, failures, they've all been thrown up everywhere yeah was that was that difficult for you at first like being on the internet and putting yourself out there because the job i'm in you're out there and people are you're being judged from a skill and a talent level but like not in a personal you, you still care there's ups and downs yeah. i think I, I still get caught i still get caught in the uh situation where if i play a game and there's 10 great comments about me but one negative comment yeah. i tend to focus a lot on that Fans negative comment crazy they blame you for ruining the game has yeah. that happened yet Oh, all the time. I've played over 100 games in the NFL. I think it's happened over 100 times. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that is the situation. The That's fans, the world they, we they live in. Take it serious. Extremely. Like when their teams didn't make it the other day. The other day, what mm. a week ago, two weeks ago, uh, about people three, were like, four weeks ago, right? They came for blood. Yeah, it is. It's really like that. So do you do you think you in the beginning struggle with the fact that people are seeing everything in your life, being on the internet for 20 years, where things can get dug up all the time, relived, oh, revamped? I've been canceled 10 times. It's kind of like a after party now. It's like a nice little, it's a season for you. <laughs> yeah, you're only canceled if you really let someone cancel you. Right. I believe. Or if you actually do horrendous things, right? Yeah. I, there's been so many lies made up about me at this stage, I just don't care. You don't care. No. But in, in the beginning, did you care? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 What was like the hardest things for you to that you struggled with people? Ooh. Mm, I think maybe not knowing who I was because in the old days, remember MySpace, like I really played into a character. Mm -hmm. So w once I grew up, I let the real me out more and that's when I became way bigger yeah. yeah when you say you struggled with who you really were like who were you pretending to be back then too outlandish like shock I was all about the shock value yeah and you don't think you're still about the shock value <laughs> mm, maybe at a way lower level brother you you were yeah. posting photos of you and an NFL player yeah oh but with, the, a, with a pistol and a silencer on it wasn't that cool like you're, yeah it's Forever. badass it's absolutely <laughs> badass and it's like that's very would it qualify as outlandish i just love at the, at the end of the day i'm a, I'm a dude right i know i don't look like one sometimes but i love gone sports hunting mm -hmm. i also love looking like this so i think that's what shocks people and when did you find out that like okay if i just stick to my true self then i'm solid for, i've always been this way now you just said a second ago that you, you were struggled with it for a little bit no, no that's very true but yeah. i think just being me looking the way i wanted to be was yeah. just like this is who i am either like me or don't you know i love that yeah so I think, and I'm, you know, and I'm, and I'm not a snitch, so I think guys feel comfortable hanging out with me. Yeah. Because they know I'm not going to kiss and tell. How did you get into put into a position where you were titled as not a snitch? Not a position. Um, well, there were positions. I think just time in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting reps like after I'm reps, boys. No. Um, yeah, I've just, I've just never kissed and told. I had a lot of rumors about me. Like, mm. everyone thought I fucked Kanye a year ago. Yeah, Mitch brought that up. Mitch, Mitch's girlfriend is a, is a huge fan of yours. Rumor, right? Did you Ugh. fuck Kanye? No, he's so short. Ugh. Did he try to fuck you? No comment. That's all I needed. <laughs> Clip it, boys. <laughs> and the interview is <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. Too short. Really? What am I going to do with that floss? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, stop. Kim is so small. Shout out to Kim. I love her. She's so little. You guys are I, friends? I it. Yeah, we're acquaintances. Right. You guys have been around each other. You're both in the same space. Yes. And so I during this space, it could have been very easy for a guy like Kanye to come up to you and try to catch hands. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a. It was more so fun hooking up with his friends. Okay. Fellow rappers, we'll say. Okay. I'm, I don't know. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a sexual person. And I had a nice almost six-year relationship. And once that ended, it was just 
back on the hoe train. You know? <laughs> back on the hoe yeah. train for you. I was in love once. It was great. Now it's time to get back to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that. So Kanye's friends. Yeah. They're in the game. Yeah. And is it easy for you? So, like, I feel like the gay community is tough because, like, you don't know who's gay and who's not. Right. Did you? How do you figure out who's gay and who's not? In what sense? See, I'm not like if you walk into a bar, I'm you walk really in, you see all of us. Let's say Jack's gay. Jack doesn't look gay, from or the Jack. standpoint of, like what you'd say, oh, this person's gay. For a mustache ride, you know? Yeah. You, you do have a phenomenal mustache, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I needed that. But like, how do you how do you weed through that? Because I'm literally the reason why I ask these questions is because we live two completely different lives. Yes. And I'm literally actually sitting here. I'm trying to educate myself and the people listening. Most this, of my this friends, world. especially in Wyoming, all look like you guys. There's, the, the gay population is so <laughs> rare out there. Yeah. Yeah. So why? But even before be a hard place here, because I've been in LA for 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. Most of my friends are straight. Yeah. And so how do you figure out you who's just, gay? You just ask. But a lot of guys can hook up and not be gay. They're just them. See, I think that's a controversial t subject. I know. Like, there's a phrase, you can be a painter, you can paint a thousand paintings and never be called a painter, right. but if you suck one dick, you're a cocksucker for life. <sighs> but what if you get your dick sucked and just like it? That's the game we're playing. A dude. A dude that likes getting their dick sucked. Yeah, by who cares who it is? I don't know. If you go that back to gay. the time of... <laughs> Jamie goes, that's so valid funny. point. That is, a, that is so a good point. Easy. You don't have to complicate it. Yeah. We were really all put on this earth way back in the day as cavemen, right? And everyone was just fucking and procreating. Mm -hmm. right? There was no feelings and marriages and sensitivity and all this shit. We added that later. So men were put on this earth to fuck. And I'm that vessel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just simple psychology. So yeah. when guys get bored of their whoever, they maybe they want to go to something else, or maybe they've never explored because of religion and politics and their dumb parents teaching them that, hey, this is wrong, and boys are blue and girls are pink. So now we live in a different world, I think. Which is not the you case. Can, you can open up your mind, your hands, your mouth, your legs, and you can just be yourself. <laughs> it seems like religion's definitely like the key piece yeah. in that. Like there's, I, I've known people... Um, I know an individual that was actually married at one point to a woman and was questioning his sexuality consistently. Literally went to conversion therapy because of, from a li religious standpoint. Oh, Lord. That's crazy. He ends up f truly figuring out who he is. Yeah. And now he's he's gay and that's his, like, that's his deal and he's super comfortable with where he is. Okay. So... That's crazy. Yeah, but when do you think, from a, from a child's standpoint, mm -hmm. when you're talking to somebody, they're a young eight-year-old boy, like... We, we don't know. We have no idea what we want, what we don't want. I have no idea people who are gay, if they say they were born that way or they came into or it. Or be attracted to someone and they don't know what it means. Right. When yeah. do you think it's like an appropriate time for to let that child, I guess, ask those type of questions and understand those types of things? They can ask them, but I think when a parent tries to direct them to a certain way too young, not it. Not, not it. No. If, you're, if your daughter looks like a tomboy, it doesn't mean she wants to be a boy. It means she wants to explore... Her creativity and you should yeah. let her be her yeah that's like a hard thing like, like the transgender thing is like i just don't understand it yeah so i just like i do my best to be like hey people do whatever they want but i they say like the brain's not developed so many there's, layers there's so many layers and yes all of you fucking hate it <laughs> no it's just crazy it, it's just it's no a, it's mentally complicated because the our culture has made it more complicated yeah that's the problem it seems like yeah, it definitely seems that way because the brain's not like developed till 25. I, I'm not into all the other bullshit. I think. What other bullshit? The they, uh, the they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm. was so bored in their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. stuff. More stuff. Yeah. That's where the conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you so do have no, a conservative you're not vibe they to you. And them. You're trans, you're male, or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. Mm hmm. How are you a they? What the fuck does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Yeah, I could sit here I could sit here comfortably on camera and say, like, I, I truly just don't understand it. Yeah, and that's okay. But that's as it far as I can go. Yeah, it doesn't mean but you're for, hateful. Yeah, and then you, like you said, like, you are the perfect vessel for this type of situation. Yeah. Are you Are you steamhead in that? Are you making sure that people know, hey, listen, no, there are I, no I've days and thems? a lot about it because I, I love 
doing certain things like in the gun world or like, you know, and I go to a lot and do a lot of podcasts for things that are not beauty related. And I think mm. that's what's fun. Yeah. You know, I got you. Yeah. Um, well, how did you start your beauty empire? Ooh, so I did music for a long time. Yes. I was on now my. You say, what kind of music did you do? So I was gonna go to college to be a psychologist. Yeah. And then MySpace happened, and I created a character, and I it went really big and viral before viral was a word. Mm -hmm. And I was like the first person to me. I, I call it me and Paris Hilton. We capitalized way back in the day on how to make money off of being a personality from internet and TV. Now were you friends with Paris Hilton at this yeah. time? Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Still to this day, she's always been a real really? one. Really. Yeah. That's awesome. And I would love to see a photo of you two together. There's some on there. Then. Yeah. Google. There's some Do you good, know what that is? Good ones. Do you know what Google? Pop that up. Yeah. He's on OnlyFans right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. You said you're not on OnlyFans. Okay. He, why would he be on OnlyFans if you're not on there? Are any of you actually subscribe to girls on there and it actually is usable or is it all a scam? I don't have an OnlyFans account. Someone's lying. <laughs> it's, it's a scam? I just don't like, I don't know if you want to get off. Why do I want to follow a creator and like pay them money and do all these things? Like, it's just so it's like cameo meets porn, right? That's yeah, like the whole, the porn. whole idea behind it. So last year they offered me a lot of money and I was going to do it. We shot some content and then I was like, eh, this is not for me. Like, I don't need the money. <laughs> no. Yeah. Listen, so we know. Like yeah. Another thing to do. And I was like, no, that's not the route we're going. But so. if you're going to do it anyway and you're comfortable, why not? Like if you're going to fuck. Yeah, yeah, you don't mind being I viewed. Some fucking. great photos on my phone. We're in private jets, sucking dick, and all this stuff, and it was great fun. Thanks for taking those. Um, but <laughs> you know, yeah, at perfect lighting. That's, you know, yeah, you do a phenomenal job of lighting. <laughs> it would have been the best. If we had an now. extra one, that'd be nice. Make sure of it, all this. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> so you do all this content. You're on jets. We're sucking dick. Yeah. We're having a great time. Yeah. Penises are flying everywhere. everywhere. And you think to yourself, I don't want to do OnlyFans anymore. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I why? Have a secret folder on my phone because it just wasn't right. And my team was like, do you really want to do this? So I have an autobiography coming out at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a TV show for my ranch. I've raised 300 Tibetan yaks and I have camels and a full operation. And we, Boy, Mitch. we sell meat. We're the biggest meat operation for yaks in America now. I've never consumed a yak before. The healthiest red meat in America. Yeah, I feel like that's what everyone else said about yeah. bison. Mm, at one point, they said that about cows. I know, but the USDA is a lot. Just more, the, once there's more education. So right. I'm helping yak science right now with the University of Wyoming. Yeah, you're slowly taking down the yak population. I am. I'm vegetarian. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I was going to be just so trying to be unique bad. in the situation. <laughs> so MySpace comes out. You're you're like, hey, fuck this psychology thing. I'm done with this. Yeah, and then it just blew up. So I did, and then I, I started What, what made music. it blow up? So you were, you were doing, the music is what blew up. Yeah. Well, I think people, everyone just signing up to this crazy platform when social media was so new and green. It was mm -hmm. the biggest site on the planet. And I was posting pictures, pretending to throw up cereal and all this fucking crazy shit. And yeah. I became one of the number one people on there. So you, yeah, you were a trailblazer for the viral community. Yes. Before it all. So then I did music. You did music. Joke. And yeah. then it became, I was... Were you um, any good? Yeah, it was fun. Was it... Were you, it like, was like Depeche Mode, punk rock, pop, electronic. Got you. Yeah. Like a postal service type so, of vibe. Yeah. Okay. So we got really big big independent then i signed with akon convict music mm -hmm. there's pictures of me paris Hilton, and akon on google is akon um, shout out to akon oh yeah hey kesha really hell yeah one more jack jack from the back back ropes there kesha went to jack's high school that's right tennessee wow that's cool i love it out there yeah you see you out there for beretta yeah. conference every year Isn't that cool? twice a year so makeup got me into the gun world and all these cool things yeah the, the, How, the like, head of beretta mr beretta his girlfriend is a beauty influencer in italy and really? she loves my page so living in wyoming we can actually you know open carry conceal carry you can have a silencer on your gun next to you in the seat and it's normal in la you'd probably get shot and killed yeah you can only have like three rounds in la anyway horrible <laughs> so I post uh, a Beretta in my cup holder with my Red Bull. Like, good morning, everyone. Because yeah. I find that I can post these things now and, and buy them. So she sees it, shows him, and Beretta reposted me. And I was like, this is my one shot, baby. So I go, hey, would y'all want to do a custom pink gun for me? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, when you want to fly to Italy, we'll fly you here. Oh, we've no done, shit. We've done two projects now. And I'm just like, they're unreal. Yeah. What, was that, what was that process like going over there? Like other facilities? It's incredible. Insane. Yeah, they're the, so they're one of the only gun manufacturers that are family owned still. So for 500 years, they're all the wars. They are stayed to themselves. 
Um, just kept it in the family the entire time. They do over a billion dollars in, in sorry, right. in, in firearms a year. Mm -hmm. It was nuts. So I'm very big into guns. Yeah, I, I, I guns figured that out in the small time. <laughs> I didn't, I did no homework on this episode yeah. at all. Yeah, so I'm like, I think like 120 now. So they mm -hmm. made me a custom pistol and then they just did me a submachine gun, a uh, CX-4. Now let me, let me play devil's advocate. Let me be the person that doesn't like the second amendment. I like the I second amendment. Not. Let I me play not. this. What, who needs 120 guns? A collector, someone that's collector. filthy rich and fucking bored. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> seems like he, that's seems it. like you've done that. I'm so tired of that that question. Isn't Not from you. Just it, well, it's the first time I've asked that? it. I don't need anything. Right. I don't need. You know what I mean? I want it. That makes that's sense. The American way. I know people. When foreigners come and visit, they think it's so crazy at how many guns are in Wyoming. We're like 10, 10 per capita at, per house. For real. Mm -hmm. There's like fifteen houses we're in Wyoming. We're the only place in America that has the sanctions. If the government took our guns away, which will never happen, probably. That Wyoming is clear, <laughs> clear and free. Oh, for real? Yeah, we're going. Like we're going to the zone. pink bunker. You're not taking my shit. No doubt. What if? What yeah. would you do if two guys showed up to your house? Ooh. And said, <laughs> and they're not there for that. Oh. They said we'll get to that in a second. Oh, okay. But we want all your guns. Put them in the back right here. Oh, they're trespassing, so they're getting blasted. Get Hello. Stand your fucking hey, ground, Mister. Would love that comment. Are you kidding me, officer? I'm scared for my life. Bang. Yeah. Just like that. Bang, bang. See, I'd be scared about that. I'm kind of a pussy when it comes to that. No one's I own guns. No one trespass. I have a thousand acres. I have big gates and a security guard and cameras and motion detectors and... Yeah, no one's getting... And the yaks are really friendly to me, but they'll gore you. Really? Yeah. I don't know anything about yaks. I ain't got nothing. So MySpace is blown up. We're, I feel like we're all over the place on this thing. Okay. <clears throat> MySpace is blown up. <laughs> Things are going good. You're faking throwing up cereal. You're doing yes. a band that resembles Blink-182 meets the Postal Service. Some 41's touched in there a little bit. And you throughout like it, it all, I don't reach the success that I think I should be at. I'm signing. And what numbers are we talking about to reach the success? <sighs> like low album sales, but concerts sold out. There's thousands of people. The merch sales are insane. Mm -hmm. So I sign a deal and it doesn't go according to plan. And I become a slave to the music industry like Kesha and like all these others. And I get controlled. Sheep. And my career gets ruined. They don't do anything that I want. And they mm. just dumb down everything. They like how crazy I am. And then they want to ruin my vision and make it like Disney punk. So it was just like, oh. And that made you go to... Uh, I was heartbroken. I was depressed. I was, it was awful. I was in this little two-bedroom apartment in NoHo. Just stuck. Like, what the fuck? Stuck so in I LA. quit, fired everyone. And I was like, I want to go back to what I love. And that's makeup. So I asked a friend for a loan. And I took my life savings that I had and made three lipstick colors. <clears throat> that was 2014 and now I've probably sold almost 20 million lipsticks since then and it's just been insane yeah so Who I, I started as just like a little whim on e-commerce on my little site and it sold out in 20 minutes I paid the guy back in five minutes <laughs> That's um, crazy. And, the, and then I invested a lot of these people that get new money they just blow it all mm -hmm. they want to be cool on Instagram they want the cars the clothes the jewelry all that's great if you can actually afford it mm -hmm. and half of these people can't so yeah they're leasing it they're on lease they're late they're leasing it the you wife, own shit outright because once the money goes away she's fucking his homie yeah they're all on lease according to what's her name she'll probably be gone soon someday the girl that was getting pissed at you the nfl girl i don't want to say her name again i feel that bad is. saying her name <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to gas her That's dude henry anderson sorry bub <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm heartbroken hey, henry, we're going through this if she's pregnant and she's ever bored and too tired and he needs a, a substitute call me yeah no well, hard me, and then we can connect that i have your number yeah, now my dms are open <laughs> you're yeah. open for business what's scary though is since all this has happened and i posted my friend uh other players have hit me up no way dude. yeah now I you did i'll say show you a few off camera that's what i was gonna say you did say you're gonna show me a couple yeah. things as long as i'm trustworthy i don't know how i'm doing in that situation mm -hmm. we'll find out at the end of this whole mm -hmm. thing um you're sociopathic a little bit psychology yeah, major you are you are a little that is like tanner it. he is absolutely sociopathic yeah like you don't like humans much but you like animals yeah tanner likes humans yeah. tanner's one of the guys uh, are you guys he, related or no 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh tanner oh, tanner shit. and i've known each other since we were five years old nicotine zen do you want one stop do you want one what is that a pouch yeah it's a pouch For right here yeah oh my god my ranch hands use this 
They always need, need extra. You're salty ears people. You want to try one? Absolutely not. They're outstanding. I've never even smoked a cigarette. Oh, that's right. We did have, but this is not a cigarette. This is nicotine. Oh, no. I don't know if you follow biohackers at all, but um, they say that nicotine's good for focus and multitasking. So I also said that about anal. There it is. That's how I've created a billion dollar company. Through anal? Yeah. You it's really worth a billion dollars? Or are you fluffing it up for us a little bit? The makeup brand? I was at yeah. 800 million. I'll lower it. I'll lower it. That sucks. I thought it was a billion. I'll be modest. Not a yeah. billionaire. Just a low millionaire at eight. What What was your thought process when you decided I'm not making I'm not making enough money. I'm not doing. I'm no, not as I'll, famous as I want to be. Okay. I'm not as famous as I want to be. I'm gonna go and take this leap of faith and do cosmetics. You, yeah. You've already said you're a confident individual, but there's ever a time you're like questioning. I Am I able to I do this? I stopped being confident with the music, so I was like, wow, I really got to do something that makes me happy. Yeah. So I was like, I love makeup. This is what I've always been good at. I used to do makeup on celebrities and musicians and all these things so I, but i'm like i want to create a line and be like the future of beauty mm -hmm. so i started this brand and then i saw what was happening on social media and youtube was really big back then 2015 16 17 18, 19, all that yeah so i hopped on that train and became the biggest beauty youtuber and i was like let me just try this and yeah. i saw what the other people were doing and they're all so fucking boring and they're all liars and i'm like what the hell so i started youtube now we're billions of views later and i just quit eight years later no way. Three months ago, I quit, yeah. Why'd you quit? Burnt out. You don't seem like a person that gets burnt out easily. For as many I've orgies... I've done it you, all. For as many orgies... Yeah, that yeah. you've done, you feel like... A lot of massages after. Lot, yeah. yeah. You feel you seem like a worker. I love working. Yeah. 24-7, yeah. Yeah. And so you just, you're over the YouTube game, burnt it's out. done. I've done it all. I, show, I showed every aspect of my life. So do you feel I fulfilled? I wanted more privacy. Do you feel fulfilled from a, a fame standpoint? Yes. You do? Yeah. Is it everything you thought it would be? And what's that, fame? Yeah, because I think when we're all kids, I would sit there when I was five, 10 years old, think I'm going to be a pro baseball player. I'm going to be yeah. a famous actor or something like that. And then you you see the internet and you think that all these things that these people have are fulfilling yeah. and they're not that fulfilling. Mm -hmm. But no one wants to hear that when they're struggling. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> I think Jim Carrey so said... I don't sound like an asshole, no. but like when, when, when you buy everything you've ever wanted, it doesn't actually fulfill you. Yeah. Like, it's fun, obviously. It's fucking you, awesome. You're like a cosmetic Dan Bolzerian. Yes. Um, <laughs> less steroids. Less steroids. Yeah, less STDs. Got well, zero. Jim Carrey has a line where he says that uh, he wishes everybody can can become successful and famous to realize that's not what really matters. Yeah. So you do all this shit. You're an extremely successful human being. You have an auto, literally have an autobiography coming about yourself. You're a stud. Thank you. Where do you find your fulfillment? Ooh. So during the pandemic, I wasn't being fulfilled anymore. I had done everything I ever wanted to do. And I really wanted land and to be around animals. And I really wanted to be a rancher. I know it sounds so out of pocket, but I love challenges. I feel like I nothing's feel like out of pocket at this point. Never. So I've, I've already done so much. What was next? So I bought a lot of land and I bought a few animals. And then I saw the vision and just became obsessed with ranching. And then I was like, well, how do we make money? Because I can't just sit around and enjoy anything, sadly. Mm -hmm. it's my problem. And yak meat is such a niche market. And it's so healthy. I was like, I want to make yak meat. So how did you find out it's such a healthy googling and meeting yak ranchers and like where did where are the yak ranchers wyoming at? colorado yeah oh, for real yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were coming in there on their turf whole, oh yeah some of them are mad i bet dude I'm there's like 45 living. people that live in wyoming They're like you so pissed off mad. half of them at least i know they hate me do you yeah. get do you get looks when you're walking down the street you go into your uh, the a town lot of people just want photos or pick you know they know who you are yeah, and they're really cool people in wyoming are really sweet like, if your car breaks down, there'll be 10 people to help you. Or if you're in L.A., they're like, ha, ah, die. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Literally. Scary. It's a lawless place. Care. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever go back to L.A.? No, I was there yesterday, and I felt nothing. Mm. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. That is a fair my enough statement. there, though. Shout out to all my amazing employees. I have yeah. 100 employees that ship makeup all day and help me run my business and make things come to life. If you're done with YouTube and all that. TikTok and, and Instagram are, are the, the new thing. The new thing. I mean, TikTok is obviously the future. I it, don't it have TikTok. Is, yeah. See, I tried that game and you got to evolve. But you don't have to. You play sports for a living. No, not for long. I'm old now. Stop. I am. For my for my profession, I am a old person. Is he? Oh. I'm washed. Wow. It's How are your over. joints? All right. I had ACL surgery 17 weeks ago, yesterday. Wow. It's my second one in three years. Turn my head to the left too fast. It hurts a little bit. I got Oof. this finger. This little boy right there is still broken. Oh, I didn't this thumb, that. yeah, that's busted. Huh? 
But those are just cool war stories I get to tell now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hopefully the concussions don't like take me out. And what, But you have a very successful podcast. So what's after sports? I don't know. That's a great question. I think uh, the reason why, part of the reason why I asked you the question of fulfillment is I'm looking for the same thing as well. Oh. Married, I have two kids. That part of my life is extremely fulfilled. But, yeah. and this is amazing. I wish Will could be here because I think you'd really enjoy Will. Where is he? He is in Tucson, Arizona getting his passport. We're going to Cabo on Wednesday. Oh, on Wednesday. Yeah, you coming? I can. Yeah. There's an extra room. Yeah. Well, what, I was going to give it to you guys, but now that... What's the purpose of the trip? Hang out, relax. Hmm. Have you guess been to Cabo? Booked. Of course. You said guess we're booked? Yeah, I guess we're going. Um, well, I'm friends with the cartel, so if you need anything, just text me. I will absolutely text yeah. you. Cool. I will absolutely text you on that. <clears throat> but that's... that's I, I, I do wonder, Is like, what... Wednesday? See, I would. Act, we're actually crazy where we would go because we can. But we will you're be not, there. You're not serious. We will be there the fifteenth to the nineteenth. Once Will gets his dick sucked like that, he's never coming home. I don't know, dude. You know, I know. <laughs> he won't come. I know. Home. I can see it in his eyes. Horny Will, dude. There, there was a plan why God didn't want him here today. <laughs> God saved him. He, yeah. Yeah. Man. It did. <laughs> Can only imagine how you would have handled yeah. that situation. Yeah. Yeah, you guys should come. Yeah, we'll be on Will's lap right now, I feel like. You think so? Yeah. He's he kind of a smoke too. He's making me s'more. Have you seen Will? Not in person. Just have you seen photos of him? Yeah. Have you seen photos of him before his teeth? No. Have you seen photos of me before my teeth? That no. Was like a fucking monster. You have your teeth done? Come on. I'm getting my teeth done in a couple. Yeah, those are fantastic. Yeah. But mine are like the best. They're not blocky or weird looking. Yeah, They're did you very... ever get worried about getting too white though? They don't look too white. I'm saying that that's like my fear because I'm getting my teeth done in a few weeks. Oh, are you really? Yeah, I'm really excited. Who's getting it? Who's doing it? I mean, some I'm... guy in Nashville, Tennessee. Do you have somebody for me that I should do instead? Yes, and they're in Atlanta and they're way better. No offense to your shitty dentist. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's from Bonterre, Missouri. Yeah, she, give give the boy his flowers, bro. Everyone on the I Am a Killer on Netflix is from Missouri. It makes sense. So yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> no, I guess. It makes sense. We're going. We will be I in Cabo. My teeth, no, my teeth are bad. What are you? What are you actually doing there, though? The girl, wife's coming. Yeah, my um, Tanner's coming. My sociopathic friend. He actually kind of lives in Cabo right now. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother-in-law's coming. Looks at me in the eyes, it's like he wants to eat me, like tear me apart. I think he's maybe interested. Like, very Dahmer. This is that's his teeth now. Yeah, it's a much. It's an upgrade like you've never seen before, huh? It's weird. Like went from a three to a seven. You think he's just a seven? Yeah. Kids got ass though. See, I like ass on a straight guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a must. Kids got ass. Uh huh. But yeah, Tanner's going, Quinn's going, my wife's going, and Will's wife is going. Who's watching the kids? Uh, my nanny's watching the kids. You know, I'm so privileged. All right. What's that? So privileged. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, I have two people watching my eight dogs right now. <laughs> you have eight dogs? Yeah. And I have 300 yaks. Yeah, the yaks, I feel like you just let them out there. You graze, you, you check them every yeah. once in a while. But eight dogs sounds like such a ridiculous they're responsibility. Little, they're Pomeranians. They're awesome. They're all a unit. They're a team. I'm a big chihuahua guy. Yeah. Mm. You don't like chihuahuas? Mm. Dude, I think they're awesome. Get matching hoodies and shit. Mm. You, you don't think that <laughs> shit's But Pomeranians dope? are like yaks. They're really diva, and they have big hair, and they look luxurious. Yeah, I don't like Pomeranians. Yeah. I feel like... Asshole. Well, it's it okay. wasn't all going to be sunshines and rainbows okay. with us. <laughs> So what's gonna happen? Um, you're are you still? You said I'm done with YouTube. Yeah. So with with cosmetics, where are you going with that now? What is the next thing for your brand? So the so the pandemic kind of fucked up the beauty industry, and now it's finally coming back. Well, how did it fuck up the beauty industry though? Because you can that still was great, ship. Though. You did well. <laughs> no, like as far as like people were all stuck indoors and they weren't going out. They weren't going anywhere. Everyone was wearing masks. Yeah, so they don't wear as much wearing makeup. lipstick. They weren't going out every night. They weren't doing get readies. Um, and skincare skyrocketed and self-care. So I think everyone looked in the mirror and was like, oh, wow, I look like shit. Or maybe mm. I should care about myself a little right. more. So makeup sales really slumped. We did really great, I think, because my brand's innovative. Our formulas are amazing, and I'm just fucking crazy. So, <laughs> um, but the future is just expanding this brand. We're nine years this year in November. It's a long time. That is a that is a long time. By quick. Do you um, take a focus in your brand to make sure it's like more of the holistic side, or beauty is the number one thing? <laughs> what do you mean, like? Like you see, um, like if you take medicine, for instance, people yeah. are now go walking away from the, do the standard doctors, even from vaccines with kids, yep. not giving them all those complex things. They're going more holistically. With Does the vaccine make you shake too? 
I'm, I'm, <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm saying no, with like my makeup brand is like vegan and la la la, but I'm I don't dive into the crazy everything. You don't, yeah. I'm not outlandish. I can't have crazy, boring like packaging and recyclable packaging is great. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. It's not for you but though. You I was more talking about like the the what's in the stuff. Oh no, everything's good and it's it's very it's very clean. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I might need to get my hand on some of that stuff. No, yeah, we don't test on animals. We test on married guys really that's what some of the packaging says i'll have to be your next you torture client. bunnies you torture men i will be next yeah we did talk about doing something like that i think it'd be very funny yeah. um can you guys imagine him in a full face of makeup i think i would look fantastic you have really good skin yeah. so that's a good start thank you the i base, actually the base is good i've been doing uh, a lot of face stuff so i thank you for noticing is your wife helping you yes okay i would I'm not have ever known her my kit please do yeah, she doesn't. Really like I, I told you before, because a lot of brands are shit sucks, and it's just some dumb celebrity. Sounds like your shit's the best, around. and no other brand is even worth it. He gets it. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Kardashians. Yep. They also do makeup and all all that stuff. They sure do. Did they do it before you or after you? Oh, that's a. Uh, mm, both. Because there's so many different ages now. You yeah. Got a fucking harem over there. Was, was there you said you guys are friends is was there a level of like yeah is there a competitive you're still friends yeah, about it because i had to, i have a huge brand but i also review makeup for a living and people really trust me mm -hmm. so when i was reviewing the brand i think i definitely tarnished and fucked up a lot of people's sales absolutely yeah yeah because if you say it's bad it's bad if they're gonna they're gonna believe you yes. you have 60 million subscribers on youtube or whatever it is crazy yeah it's fucking wild yeah love or love and hate love or hate mm -hmm. so do you are you guys cool with that whole situation or is it kind of like a go? Yeah, like well, when we've all seen each other, it's it's normal now. Mm -hmm. But I felt, but imagine though you wake up, this is, I guess, similar to what's happening recently. And Kim's just sees a rumor that her husband's fucking me. Like that's probably annoying. That's probably gotta be tough she for her. She didn't care and kind of made a joke about it. Which is the best like, way to handle shit. Why would you lash out when you know your man's not? Unless Clearly, he is. he's been on a few trips and went vacant, so. But you said you would never, you couldn't even floss with that. With who? Oh, I was talking about Henry. Oh, Henry. Yeah. Oh, Hennis. It always comes back to Henry. Dude, yeah. I feel so bad, Henry. I apologize. There's a few other ones I felt really bad for. Sorry, Cole. Um, oh, no. Poor Cole. Cole. If I know who Cole is. I... Cole who? Is that the dude that's a tight end? For the Bears? I thought that was him. Really? Yeah. Maybe it is. It's not. It's not. It's not? I'm just kidding, Cole. It's not Can you. Give me a letter. Oh, stop. Come on, dude. The world's going to explode. I, that's all I want. I'm just kidding. Oh, poor Cole. I was going to reach out to him and say sorry, but then what if he actually wants to hang out? Then that's a dub for you, and if you're interested. Hmm. What does he look like? Can we pull him up? Is hmm. he? We'll see about that. Yeah, I saw Buddy's tummy when you, when, you spo uh, when you posted that photo. I was like, Buddy was jacked up, whoever you were with in Wyoming. And he said he knew me. Mm-hmm. That makes it all so much more interesting. He's we'll, like, we'll tell him in Cabo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Cabo, 15th to the 19th. Have you been to Cabo? You've obviously been to Cabo. You're a world traveler. This is not the greatest the place. Mansion next door. Do you guys available for me to rent? <laughs> so, right there, dude. Got some oh. good beefy arms. Yeah, he's pretty hot. Actually. He looks like an all-American boy. Is this one single or no? Perfect, dude. Oh. He's low key. Really? Uh, hmm. Who says that? <laughs> Fucking Google. Google. Says I'm six one and I'm six foot, so someone's lying. How on tall that. are you? Just six foot. Just six foot? Yeah. That was a, co a, a part of the conversation. I, just, I don't know why I'm not attracted to short people. Really? Yeah. Man, I feel like I need to get. Uh, I gotta think of more stuff because this is awesome, but I also don't know what I'm not asking. <sighs> Go ahead, Jackie. I'm gonna repeat the question. This is from our good friend Jordan Smith back home. Hey, and Jordan. To ask Jeffrey if Michaela used fake eyelashes in her L'Oreal telescopic lift TikTok, hashtag MascaraGate. So, for all of the men who have no idea what I just said, can you set the scene and explain? Yeah. Please explain so that. Just like I have no idea. Like team player drama or team dramas in yes. the beauty world, there's personality dramas. And someone allegedly recently did a review. Uh, it was a paid sponsorship, and it mm -hmm. said paid sponsorship, really tiny, where you can barely see it. And these girls are getting like two hundred fifty thousand dollars per post from these brands, if not more. I would do that. Uh, yeah, but will you? Would you? If your audience trusts you, 
Would you lie to them, ruin your integrity, and just do it for the cash? No, yeah, I was just thinking about. I would. Well, it depends what I'm lying about. I would. There's nothing I can lie about that would ruin the integrity of who I am. Really, kind of obvious. She still hasn't addressed it, so I say allegedly because there really is no final answer. Mm -hmm. I've asked for an answer. I've been put on red. Really, which kind of gives us the answer we have. And what's her name, Mackenzie? Michaela. <laughs> Michaela's great, but I just think she lied in her ad. So it turned into this really big thing, and then I came out of the woodwork and said, hi, you're, you know, I, you're full of shit. Do you know this person? Yes. I'm the queen of reviewing, and I felt there was some lies happening, you know? So I don't think these people should take a check because they already get so many opportunities, so many free makeup trips and brands. All, there's so many things they get, and they could do paid things in an organic way and not lie. They should just pay you. It seems like you'll give the straight answer well, this every is single what's time. Crazy is the, the mascara was actually great, and she didn't need to lie. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't understand it. People want to look better. Mm. What's your worst product you sell? My worst? Yeah. What's the stuff that's not oh. good? Because we're talking about being honest. What's what if your stuff sucks? None you, of it. Honestly. No. Come I on. Swear, I swear, my dead. Got to be one thing you just don't love. We have we have a uh, uh, gear that I'm not a huge fan of. We shouldn't have made it. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> wow. There's some gear that I just wouldn't wear. Huh. I'm just saying. But I'm wow. not the one. It's not for us. It's for the people. We're for the boys. More ways than one now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's nothing that you think I, isn't. I'm so proud of my brand and all my formulas. I'm. I can't think of anything where I'm like, ugh, because I wouldn't have. Cause I only put out things I want to do, and I mm -hmm. can afford to make it exactly how I want, which I'm grateful for. The. Uh, have you guys looked up the Twitter questions? Please look up the Twitter questions. Oh, I think my first product, I had no idea it would ever turn that big. It was a liquid lipstick. There's only a few on the market at the time, which is a product that's liquid. It goes on and then it doesn't move. So you can eat pizza, you can give head, you can talk for hours mm -hmm. and the formula stays put. So my formula went really viral. It was the, it's the best one on the market. Still. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. That was a great question, JP. That was a fantastic question. Yeah. And so the, the liquid lipstick made me wealthy, I will say. It's, it catapulted the brand. I love that. Yeah. Um, before we get into those questions, Mitch did bring up something about you being involved with the Illuminati. What about it? I've heard you're, or heard, I heard you're involved. Are you? Absolutely not. I'm not near famous enough to do that. You don't have to be famous. How do I get in? Well, turn the cameras off. <laughs> Cut that, like, make it go black. <laughs> make it go black for a second and then dun, bring dun, it back. Dun, 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 dun. You, is the Illuminati... gang signs. <laughs> is the Illuminati... Is the Illuminati real? Yes. Are there any other secret societies other than the Illuminati that maybe don't get as much press? Yeah, but they're evil and I don't fuck with them. Okay, so the Illuminati's not evil. They don't do, like, blood <sighs> sacrifices. See, the problem is when there's people in control of anything, they get greedy, egos, so they ruin things and they make it evil. Mm-hmm. Care to elaborate? No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. And is the Illuminati um, like celebrity based, or are there politicians also involved money with that? Based. It's just money based. Mm -hmm. And then the celebrities are used as a vessel. Okay. Yeah. All right. How much I'm money? Vessel. How much money does someone have to make to be in? Or what? Or what you're willing to do to not be broke anymore? What does that mean? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. You speak in riddles. Like, you give me just enough where I'm like, I don't know. You have to so I don't get my plane bombed or killed later, you know? It's your fear for your life when you're speaking right now. It kind of turns me on. <laughs> 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 oh, I love living on the edge. Like, you never know if you're going to get JFK'd. That is, if you're, have you ever worried about that? <laughs> Has there ever been a time you're like, fuck, someone might besides uh, that wife? Mm-hmm. Yeah? She's not really going to do shit. Has there ever been a time... <laughs> that you care to comment on that you were worried that people were actually going to try and kill you? Um, ooh. Was there ever a time? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I tested the waters recently to see if anyone would come after me. And how'd you test the waters? Just by saying a few things. What'd you say? I left LA and I broke ties with a lot of people and mm. I stopped fucking with they were a lot also of Illuminati. stuff. Yeah. So I'm still here. Mm-hmm. For now. For now. Yeah. What if I get killed on this trip? You get the last interview. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. That You're would welcome. be, hey, <laughs> numbies for the boys. Numbies. <laughs> We're actually the ones contracted to kill you, and we just lured you into this podcast. <sighs> Let's go. This is it. How do you want to go out? 
How do you want to die? Oh, full firing squad while I'm netting. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, do you have something covering your eyes? Cigarette in the mouth or no? Uh, I don't know. Tea bagged. There's nothing like being tea bagged on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right before I turn on the game. The big game. Yeah. The one your boy's playing in. Mm -hmm. Before the playoffs happen because he's not going to make the playoffs. No, his team's fucking dumb. His team's bad. No, they're great. What was the record this year? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. I can't. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not here to I'm not here to expose a fellow player. <laughs> you say what? What? I said his name. You weren't listening. Oh god damn. Well we got it. Run it back, boys. Run it back. What questions who, do we have? Who's gonna win the Super Bowl? Philadelphia Eagles. Oh. Yeah, who do you think's gonna win the Super Bowl? I don't know. I really don't know. I was surprised those teams were the last two. Why? Mm. Kansas City you can't ever you can't ever bet against and the Philadelphia Eagles are Possibly the best, how, how most well put Bowl, team. In 19, then the, the Chiefs were there. Say it again. The Super Bowl was in Miami, what year? A few years ago? I went to that. That was three years ago. That was Chiefs won. I was there. Yeah, it was fun. That was cool. The Chiefs won? Mm -hmm. So you think the Chiefs are going to win? Yeah. But a lot of my employees from my brand love the Eagles. So they're. Why do they love the Eagles? Because they're from, a lot of them from Philly for some reason. And they're terrifying fan base. I know. They're a terrifying base place. Shit. What questions do we have for Mr. Jeffree Star? Uh, one more. Who, is Who is your dream hookup? Oh, wow. That's a good question. I can't believe I didn't think of that question. Huh, I already had it. Wyoming? Yeah. They have several Grammys, and they're in the hip-hop category. And they will massacre me if I say their name. Because they're also the Illuminati. It's Jay-Z. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> not Jay-Z. Do you know Jay-Z? No. No. You're not in the Illuminati then. He's not in. I don't know what's going on over there. Hip hop's weird. They're all weird. Why do you say that? They're all freaks. They're all into everything. And there's just a lot of weird stuff going on over there. We should say more. NFL is a lot more safer. <laughs> I feel like the NFL being safer, like in, in what way is the NFL safer? There's less games and trickery and weird shit. But what trick were we talking about? Is it sexual trickery? No, just like like the hip hop community, like the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just different. It's a, it's a way different game. Yeah. And then the NFL is not as much more that true. game. It's more fun. They're more yeah. simplified. Yeah. So it's, it's an objective, like, goal sport. Yes. Okay. What else we got? <laughs> oh. Go okay. ahead, Mitch. This is coming from Mitch's where girlfriend. You are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's okay with anything that happens. Say we're making an OF. <laughs> How come you guys Ooh. decided to get camels on the ranch? Isn't that crazy to have camels? That's outstanding. I've always wanted one. I went to Egypt before. I've traveled the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I think camels are so cool. They're really smart, smarter than horses. And I'm like, what cool, weird shit can I get out here? Everyone has horses and cows and long yeah. horns. And I'm like... Which is great. No, no <laughs> camels. Tasty. Yeah. No, but I have the two humped camels, so they're called Bactrian camels. Bactrian yeah, camels. Two humps, and it's all fat and energy stored in there. It's mm -hmm. not water. That's what I, I was actually, I would have There's thought no there was water. There's no coconut juice or water in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're just really cool. They're an investment. They're really pricey, and mm -hmm. they're very exotic. How do they handle themselves in the wintertime? Great. Yeah? They're out there no right problem. Now. 25 degrees out today. Just ripping around. Yeah. How often do you travel? Like, how often are you away from your ranch? Um, lately, not a lot. But yeah. It's New Year, and I love traveling, so we're back on the horse. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, going <laughs> going back to when you got canceled ten times. Yeah. Why were you canceled? For old dumb shit I said. Yeah. Same thing, and I think it was when the pandemic was like at its highest, and everyone yeah, was when really everybody was bored, and like we're gonna come for blood and rehash everything again, right. and it's like, oh my god. People who were dead were getting canceled. Yeah, it was so bizarre. Yeah, poor Elvis. Oh my God! For him, I think they came for Sinatra for a little bit. Elvis tattooed on my chest. Really? Yeah. I got Sinatra tattooed on my hand. There you go. There you go. Did you like the movie? Yes. I thought it was fantastic. Great. Yeah, that director does an amazing I job. It. Yeah, absolutely. In peace, Lisa Marie. Would you ever want to do acting? Yeah, I'm really good at it. Yeah. So, so why don't you do it? We're slowly talking. So we'll Who's see. We. Do you see what I'm talking about when you say you're talking riddles? Yes. <laughs> I do know that. 
No, so I have been branching out to certain things mm -hmm. to ask questions, like what TV shows, you know, because there's always casting calls and things, and I thought acting like a whole different role, like imagine me on like Sons of Anarchy, and I'm like a messed out biker gang, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I want to do something so left field and not look pretty. That would be outstanding. Yeah. So you're I talking to people brain. that I'm not allowed to know, and you're going to yeah. get that done. Do, do we have the same agent? I don't know. I'm with, who are you with? Who are you with? TA. <laughs> so we'll see. Bam. I love it. They're outstanding. Why not WME? Mm. Not for you. Don't like the new management. Yeah. Cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Rodeo Drive. I want to do. I want to do acting. I think it'd be really fun. Yeah. Something really left. Field. What would be a dream role or an actor or an actress you'd want to work with? Mm. Leo. Oh God, Leo. Yeah. No. He's an Illuminati. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> they spit him out. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Um, tough for Leo. I don't like him. He likes little girls. But I. <laughs> mm -mm. That's not for you. Not in your fifties, dating a nineteen-year-old. That's not okay. That's disgusting. Well, technically, it is okay because eighteen, seventeen would not be okay. I can't. But 18's okay. Not mentally. I'm a big Leo fan. I think his movies are great. I just think he needs to date a little older and find happy. Yeah. I think there was a... Oh, I'm not going to go into the rumors because I don't know Leo. Uh -uh. But See, the helicopter said, uh-uh. No, that is not, that not going to happen. It's probably TMZ right now. So who would be, who would be somebody you'd want to work with? Ooh. I like all these new, like, big shows like Euphoria and stuff like that with these mm. new, like, the up-and-comers, like the Austin kid. I love Who's him. the Austin kid? What's his character? Isn't it Austin is his character? Oh, God. Yeah. The, the shaped head. Yes. 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 From, the, from that 70s show? No! That's a great... That's, I fucking I love that show. That's a Fez I know. Agnes. Yeah. Agnes really McCloud. Cool. Like, I like these new people. Not, I mean, or you can be like, like Johnny Depp. I have Edward Scissorhands tattooed on me. That's my favorite movie. That's like, it, Johnny yeah. Depp is outstanding. Yeah, Willy Wonka, are you kidding me? Were you me? on his side during the trials? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it seems like everybody was. Come on. Amber Herb seems like she really just like... Awful. Showed herself the door. Awful. Is she really that bad? Do you know her? No. Well, I'll say she's awful too. Then you're yes. awful, Amber. Just from, what I, just from what I've seen. So Jack just Ooh. asked, who are some celebrities you met that you had high expectations for that let you down and vice versa, correct? That's a good one. That is good. That's why I had a crew around me. I never let people let me down as far as that. Because, you know, everyone always says, don't meet your heroes. Mm -hmm. So I met like Madonna and Britney Spears and all these people. And I never like expect them to be great. So when they are, I think it's awesome. Because I think there's so many egos and crazy personalities out there. Yeah. So I think meeting those like pop icons or even Lady Gaga for them to acknowledge me or even reach out like, hey, thanks for reviewing my product. Like you're fucking awesome. Like that's cool. It means they're, I think they're still humbled. Yeah. So all the pop divas have been really cool. I really haven't had a bad experience. I know that's shocking. Mm -hmm. But I think all the people that if I've tried to meet them and they don't want to, they just tell their publicist, I don't want to meet that crazy bitch. And it's over. Yeah. So I, I really like that more than a fake hug. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Don't like me, that's all good. I don't think I've ever had a bad encounter with anybody. I probably haven't met half the people you have, but yeah, there's I don't some... spend that time in LA like that. What you should? No, you just said it's a hellhole. Why would I go there now? Money. Everything. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of business to do there. That's yeah, I think there's a, there's a uh, time and a place to go there, but to yeah. plant your flag in the ground and be there. If you're not already there, yeah, no. Yeah, not, that, not that does not need to happen. We think. Oh, so I thought you were going to ask a question. JP asks, is there anything you miss about life pre-fame and all this? I'm just thinking about how broke and miserable I was. Fuck no. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah being, having money is... I like being disruptive and I don't like peace and quiet. So like, yeah. It's an outstanding question. I don't think I miss anything. That's a great question. What, is there ever a time that you're like just going to be done with everything and walk away? I haven't hit that those feelings yet. Never. Mm -mm. But you watch like YouTube. Dinosaur. Twenty years in, in on the internet. That's a long time. That is a long time. You're like me in the NFL. I still love it. Yeah, but, but you, you but you got away from actually, YouTube though. Like yeah. does YouTube ever make a comeback for you? I don't know. Right now, no. But a lot of the old YouTubers are trying to come back. Yeah. The viewership's just not there, and the beauty space is ruined. So, <laughs> podcasts are great for YouTube. Beauty, deceased. Do you have a podcast? No. But Why I, don't you do one? I've been offered. Yeah, you should absolutely do one. I don't know the right fit. Hi, Barstool. I think Barstool would be, Barstool would be great for you. 
I want to do like a Dr. Drew like sex show. But you, yeah, I don't even know who that is. Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla. Someone has to know what, what Love Line is. Brother, I'm, I'm tapped out in that tapped market. Out. <laughs> so if you're uh, on, if on social media, you go into your comments and it's just yeah. crazy. It's, a, it's completely hectic. On one side, it's extreme hatred. The other yeah. side, it's, it's uh, loving and a massive support. And we talked about it earlier, how you see 10 good comments and one bad comment. Yep. How do you handle the hate side? For me personally, I was chuckling because I think I've experienced too much online trauma mm -hmm. where I just don't care. You're calloused over it. Dead inside. It does not affect you at all anymore. No, I've just heard everything across the board for so long. Mm -hmm. I'm like waiting for some new insults. But no, I don't take it personal because I've never scrolled on any app and left someone a negative comment. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. I just don't have that personality. If it's I don't punching up. Yeah, but if you don't care about someone or you don't like them, I guess it's just so easy to just keep going. Mm -hmm. Just stop and like, you know, everyone says waste time. I know writing something takes 10 seconds, but it's just such wasted energy. Yeah. You know, so I don't you. really care. I've heard it all. It's outstanding. Either it's a reflection on them and their misery and they're just lashing out at me because I'm successful and getting banged. Bangbus.com. <laughs> Free ad yeah. for Bangbus. Bang bros. Um, unless we got anything else from the boys, I think this has been an extremely unique and awesome podcast. I am absolutely rooting for you. You have the best cosmetics in the business. Hell yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we love you and we appreciate you so much coming on. Seriously, Thank this you. is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Subscribe, please rate five stars. Okay.